What's your rating? What's your price target? What are you expecting in this earnings report? Look, uh, Oracle is a uh, interesting stock. Many people for many years believed it was a laggard in the shift to the cloud, that it was going to be a net loser. The reality was very different. It was just taking them longer to move their workloads to cloud and to build out the infrastructure. And part of what they built out was um, what they called OCI Gen 2, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Generation 2, which competes in the same market as Microsoft, Amazon, Google, in terms of infrastructure as a service, platform as a service. We got an outperform on this stock. We really like the setup and the opportunity for the company on numerous levels, even excluding AI. OCI Gen 2 is it has not been impacted in the much the same way as Amazon and Google. In fact, the growth rate hasn't changed. It's growing 70%, um, much faster than its peers, um, off a much smaller base, but still it's very early in its transition to cloud, both in terms of infrastructure and platform, okay. as well as in ERP. Uh, AI know, is an interesting or well, it has been an AI company. Sorry, I apologize. So, no, it's, you know, you're good, man. So I think I, I, I want to jump in here because I think you're hitting on a big thing here. Um, a lot of people feel like that Oracle could be a sleeping giant, but I think you hit on the really important part. Your research, other people's research shows it only has 2% market share when it comes to the hyperscaler market. But um, reports are that it's going to have a pretty big announcement on, on this report that it's going to be able to sell large language models through its partnership with a startup called Cohere and offer an open AI-like service to its cloud customers. Is that a game changer for a company like this? I think it's one of many levers here. From a investor perspective, it's more of a game changer. From a, from a revenue point of view, it's one of many levers. Um, the company has been investing in AI for a really long period of time. Their autonomous database, automation is all AI. Um, what have they done recently is they built out a really interesting cloud fabric to be able to deliver um, high performance artificial intelligence for the purposes of training up machine learning, large language modules, et cetera. They built this relationship with NVIDIA. Um, they have uh, the, the fastest of the NVIDIA chips available, a unique fabric connecting it, and now they're moving into the LLM space. So they're very quiet, quietly, and this is quiet for Oracle, that's a company traditionally never quiet about anything, very quietly preparing themselves to become what could be a meaningful player in the space, and it's in no one's estimates. All right, so you're saying it's quiet, but I think the big question for investors, if you don't mind, is give me a really direct answer. Is there a chance they could actually take significant market share from Google, which right now is in a distant third, about 6% of the market, or one of the bigger players, Amazon or Azure? So my current belief, it's going to be a big business for Oracle, but smaller than Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. That said, they keep surprising us with new capabilities and new offerings. So it is possible they take some share from uh, Google because they don't have a lot of the issues that enterprises are concerned about. This is an enterprise-focused company. They could do really well.